fast alarm. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> you gonna tell them what we're gonna make today? Today we're gonna make ravioli with crumbles of bacon. <laughs> Is that right? Yep, we're going to use a frozen cheese ravioli that we have in the freezer. These are mini round ravioli, so they'll be nice bite-sized pieces. And then Rick's going to fry up some bacon, make it nice and crispy. And then you're going to make some kind of sauce. And I'm making a nice cheese sauce, which I'm just getting ready to start here. We want to show you how we're going to put it together. So. And you have some... Good stuff here. Oh yeah, we have some good stuff. So we started the water Whoa. boiling. We're gonna use some garlic, some celery onions, and butter to make kind of a roux first. And then we're gonna add some milk and cream cheese and some Parmesan and make a nice cheesy sauce while the ravioli is boiling and while Rick's <laughs> crumbling the bacon. Yeah. So it's gonna be good. I'm gonna start by putting this is a 24 ounce package of mini round cheese ravioli. Easy and convenient. Yeah, I'm going to start by putting that into the boiling water. See how nice and small they are? They're going to be nice bite sized pieces. And we don't want to boil them too long, just until they look like they're getting cooked and they start to float. That should take about six to eight minutes according to the package. So while that's cooking, it's a nice cast iron Le Creuset pan. I'm going to use my other Le Creuset pan to start this sauce. And we're going to melt a quarter. They almost match. Yeah, I think they look nice together. Mm. They're complementary colors. <laughs> we're going to melt a half a stick of butter and in the meantime, I'm going to chop up our vegetables real quick and get them in there and get them to start. Want to use my new vegetable All chopper right. for now? No? Uh, no. I'm just okay. cutting quick with my knife. Thank you. See, I sliced these so nice and thin that we don't want them to be like chunks of celery in this case. We just want it to flavor the nice butter. So let's start. The nice butter. The nice butter, boy. That really makes the flavor here. Now we're going to put that garlic in there. Also, I sliced very thin. That smells good. That oh. smells like when I make my Thanksgiving stuffing. Yeah. Celery and butter. I want the onion to be rather thin. Also, we're going to separate the, the rings so it's really nice thin pieces. How's that bacon going? Done. I made it before. See? There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Smells good too. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll let that sizzle for a little bit. Let's check on the ravioli. Very nice. It's only going to take a few minutes. And then we're going to place that into our pan. So we're just going to stir this around a little bit. See they're starting to come to the top. <laughs> All right, looking good, looking good. We're starting to get a little browning in here. We add a little bit this more. This is a pretty fast meal, too. I know it is. And, you know, we're using up some of our supplies that we had mm -hmm. in the freezer for the weeks that we're staying home and not going out to restaurants. Yeah, check, check your freezer. You might have some, too. Yeah, we found You're that. stuck in the house. Yep. Well, these are the kind of meals that are easy to prepare if you think about it a little bit ahead of time. Yep. Okay. Let me see what you're doing over here with the bacon. I might eat it before it's ready. <laughs> oh, you got it all nice and crispy. Good. Yeah, I mean, I might eat it before the meal's ready. Don't start eating it. <laughs> You can taste it, of course. I'm going to crumble that up at the end, right? Look. Perfect. Oh, wait. Oh, I want some now. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, Why don't you take a bite? No. And then crumble the rest. No, no, this no. This is almost going to be ready to eat anyway. <laughs> mm. 
No, uh, that's the privilege of being the cook. Yeah, but I can wait because there's not much there. I'd like another pound of it on there. <laughs> okay, now that the uh, vegetables are very translucent, it smells wonderful, we're going to take some flour. Now, I never tell you the measurement on this because really you just want to see it start to thicken up. Okay? So you put that much flour in and you can keep adding flour or adjusting it as you start to see it thicken. And I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit here. What's that look like? It might have been four tablespoons or so. Yeah, about a quarter cup. Because of those big scoops. I'll say start with a quarter cup and look how quickly it starts to thicken. Okay, yeah. now. Now at this point, I'm going to take a pack of cream cheese. This is an eight ounce pack. <laughs> and here's where we start to make the creaminess of the sauce. I'm only going to put half of this in. All right, let's take half of the block. So we're putting in four ounces. You used to be able to buy a four ounce block of cream cheese, but I don't think they sell it that way anymore. All right, now let's start melting that in there and you'll see how quickly it melts. It's gonna be similar to Alfredo, right? Right, only it, homemade without all the extra chemicals. Could you still say it's Alfredo sauce? Yeah, you could call it Alfredo. What makes it Alfredo is this. Some nice Parmesan cheese. Mm. Now I'm using the Parmesan and Reggiano. And I grated about a quarter cup already. So we're going to add that and save a little bit of the, the block for on top of our meal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, as this thickens up, we have to add a little milk. The raviolis are probably done, right? Yes, we have to start getting the raviolis into the pan. Okay. Do you want to try doing that while I'm stirring? Okay. I'll just show you my other ingredient here. It's going to be about a cup of milk. And we're going to just keep stirring and blending this while it bubbles. Okay, while I stir that, Rick's going to get the ravioli into the pan. My pleasure. Mm hmm. Oh, looks good. Looks this good. kind of a pan. Right, so you could use that slotted spoon and get them out. I want to eat some of these too. <laughs> You're hungry today. Yeah. This sounds good, especially topped with bacon. If, if you find they're going to start to stick together, you can drizzle a little olive oil, but don't overdo it. because feel good right now. Okay. We're also getting this sauce blended and thickened up. Oh, it's going to be good. That was a big pack of ravioli. We didn't even know we had that in the freezer, right? <laughs> well, I didn't. Well, one of us knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked for the ice cream in there. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run out of ice cream during <laughs> these weeks. Huh? Well, maybe I'll lose a pound or two. <laughs> they still look good here. Mm-hmm. Want one for an hors d'oeuvre? <laughs> <laughs> no. Be nice little hors d'oeuvres. Okay. All right. Now when I. Finish up this sauce and you can start crumbling the bacon. And then we'll put it all together real quick. Hmm. Crumble the bacon onto the on just, the finished product, right? Right, so just put it in a little dish for now. Oh, okay. So now I will add some more milk here because with all the different kinds of ingredients, we're gonna add another, I'm gonna say another cup because we want to be able to pour it all over that ravioli. Okay, nice. That's a nice amount. That's what that you might receive when you buy a nice large jar of Alfredo. Okay, this won't take long to bubble up. It's I'm getting thicker. Get I'm going to get a bowl to crumble my bacon. Okay. okay. Hey, while you're over there by the salt and pepper shaker, could you add a little bit in here? Yep. Pepper. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sea salt. 
All right. <laughs> Those bakos in a shake jar too, right? A shake bottle. Yeah, but we're going fresh today. Great old bacon. Mmm. Well, that'll be enough, right? Yeah, it's good. The more the better, but that'll be enough. All right. Look, it's bubbling. It's creamy. There's some nice chunks in here from the vegetables. Oh boy, I think we're ready to serve it up. Let's pour some over top of the ravioli now. All right, just gonna pick it up and pour. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Creamy, cheesy. <laughs> All right, we'll stop there. All right, we're gonna just allow the sauce to run down in there through the layers of ravioli wow so you can still see the nice vegetables in there onions and garlic. celery and my garlic and my Ooh. my mouth is watering okay how's that look good all right now we're gonna Move it down the assembly line and put enough sauce and put more. Well, well, we can add some to our, yeah, our we bowls. Yeah, do that, right? Uh, and we can get the bacon on top now. Yep, right here. All right. Ooh. Me. Your turn. Maybe you want to save a few little bits for your own bowl at the end. <laughs> I don't know, sir. <laughs> That's good. What do you want a bowl to eat this with or you want it cool? Oh, let's have, a, let's have a bowl. We'll cool it. Paper plate, whatever. No, a little bowl. Sample size. Okay. Okay. Here's the serving spoon. Okay, do it gently in just a couple. And so make it that the bacon stays on top in our bowl. So. <laughs> I hope. Could have put the bacon on at the end, I guess. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to make some more bacon for the rest okay. of this. No problem. But, I forgot it was pierogies. I thought it was uh, It's potatoes. raviolis. I thought it was it's kelp. Huh? It's what ravioli. Is, what did I say? Pierogies. <laughs> <laughs> See? I thought it was scalp potatoes for a minute. Oh, cheesy. Oh, make it pretty. Okay, we gotta taste this. All right, let me have a good picture of it with some bacon on top. Okay. Mmm, mm. that I'm really ready. looks good. Rick, I'm why don't you why don't you grate some cheese on there too? Okay. Let me give you the. Say when. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really tops it off. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, let's taste it. Do the tools. Thank you. Daddy. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's real good. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's just like Alfredo. Is it Alfredo? Hmm? Well, I'll call it Alfredo because that's how I know Alfredo to have Parmesan cheese. And creamy. Garlic, onions, bacon, a little crunchy bacon. I'll put more bacon on next time. Yeah, you know. If it's easier for you to, you don't have to make the sauce like that, buy a jar of Alfredo, but mm -hmm. add the bacon because that's what this one's all about, right? That's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
please subscribe. Right Pass there. the word. <laughs> Tell all your friends. <laughs> Be safe and healthy. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Yes, we are. Have a nice day. Make some of this. See you soon. Bye. Woo!